Welcome back to Odin's Harem, everybody. Today we'll be playing God of War again. I only have a few more days, uh, roughly a week, before I need to start working uh, at a new company and I'll be making much less uploads. Now with that being said, I'm going to focus a little bit less on editing and a little bit more on recording. These days I'm just recording a lot of content, a lot of different games, and then the editing, because I just want to enjoy this last little phase before I have to get serious and start working at an office. And so in light of that, now that I'm home alone and have a few hours before the family comes home, I really want to treat myself to my absolute favorite game, uh, besides Green Hell. Uh, which is God of War. Uh, I know these don't get a lot of views, but this is uh, what I want to focus on. Okay, let's just jump in. I'm playing with my controller, so... Again, been a few weeks since last. Not too long this time, but I'll have to... Just uh, test out the buttons and remember what is what now. Uh, yeah, the graphics are good, actually. The graphics are great. Anyway, here is Modi. We just beat up. And Magni ran off. He ran off. Atreus, follow me. Sorry, I got distracted. Ran off over there. I don't know. Uh, I guess we're supposed to. Yeah, we got that thing that we can check the doors with. <laughs> the binding point. Interesting how that works. You killed Maggie. That he did. He was a god, but you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps, but I. And his father is Thor. Not minor, not minor at all. Him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment? No. If vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <laughs> Haven't I been killing gods for a while now? What's this now? Oh, we're gonna have to jump up here. Okay, I'm not sure I was done looking at everything below, but... I suppose we can have a look at it from here. I feel like I might have walked by some things. Just drop down here. So, oh my goodness. A sad sight. Yeah, so how am I supposed to activate this code? Usually the puzzle is nearby. Oh my god, guys. I just... I had to pause because I just got the craziest call right now. I don't know what you call it. But here where I live, um, you have to deliver your car after the garage. 
like yearly for like a yearly check. There's two checks. There's like the licensing check, just basically checking that your brakes work and things like that. And then there's the the check I did now, which is like uh, kind of like an overall where they take care of and fix all the issues. And I just, you know, and I was expecting to have to pay somewhere around $200. Like, I'm just roughly um, uh, estimating the currency exchange. Uh, but I think it's probably more likely over $200. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Wait, we were here before. But which way back? I don't know. We'll follow the mini map, right? Um, in any case, I just, I feel so bummed out now. I almost don't even have energy to play. Because I have to pay $600 now for fixing the car. Which is just basically money I just do not have. I don't see that changing much. I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. Don't worry about If so, then keep up. Okay, that didn't... I feel like all the wind has been taken out of me, just... All my willpower and everything is just. I don't know. With finance things, it just really gets to me. Especially unexpected payments. Gosh. It's just so much financial recovery to go through. Apparently, my oil was leaking. Look, I, li I live in a country where. Uh, the more technical things, like garage talk, I definitely don't understand in the local language. And... Yeah, it didn't seem like... Oh, this is... Life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Came back to life. He just ran off. Oh, you shot him in the neck with an arrow as he ran off. Yeah, that's right. Somehow am I... If I run... Wait, if I run down with the... Um... With this thing. This should help me open the... Here. Yep, that actually worked. Okay, so how do I get back up again? Sorry about the, the sad and slow start here. I might even edit it out, How, you know, who knows. I just feel extremely bum, bummed out. Poor Fafnir. There's a fine line between ambition and greed, you know.
There's probably stuff we could do at his place. But let's just open the other chest as well. Which was over here. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, I got it again. I don't know if that was like a glitch, like I wasn't supposed to get it that way, but... See, now... Yeah, he drops it every time he jumps somewhere. So how am I to get... Oh, we need to find the crystal, though. Here we go. This will help us. I don't even know if I feel like doing the main quest today. Like, I'm that bummed out. But I'm not too bummed out to do side quests. We're getting good stuff. Okay, let's go to Sindri. Oh, there's some red shine in there. Is that reflection? Well, let's throw one and see. I don't know if that's reflection or if that's a sign. I guess it's just a reflection. Alright, let's see what we can upgrade. I think I'll probably just try to get the thing for um, that Sindri's always. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? Yeah, that thing. Fafnir's storeroom. We'll try to figure that out. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of your good pal, Sindri. I'm so terribly touched. <laughs> okay, well, some humor is welcome. Let's get started then. Okay, axe upgrade. Well, that sounds good. Axe upgrades. Um. Increases strength and makes new Leviathan axe skills available to purchase. Four to five. Fifty-five to seventy. Ooh. Frozen flame. Yes, please. I threw an apology on the house. So much blood. Perfect. Um, yeah, let's spend some time in here. What did we miss? Reduces uh, charge time, recharge. Well, that is very welcome. Chest armor. Fully upgrade to increase stats. I can upgrade it even further. Cost nine thousand five hundred fifty. I think I'll just wait with that a bit. Runic defense. It's not being upgraded a lot. Mm, I think we'll wait with that. Wrist armor. These are so cool. The socket is empty? How is the socket empty? Craft wrist armor, let's see. Oh my god. That looks crazy. Um, nah. Uh, let's 
let's see the purple, which is legendary. Nah. Uh, nah. None of that looks good. Yeah, I like something that's fully covering him more. Or like this style. I, the yellow looking ones. Holy moly. That might actually be sort of worth it. Oh, I don't have enough uh, Traveler's Armor Shard. This one I could afford, but it takes down Runic way too much. Okay, let's look at the waist armor. Oh my goodness, look at that. I don't have enough smoldering ember for it. War belt of the traveler. Ah, uh, takes down Runic a bit but could be worth it. Traveler's Grizzly Trophy. I don't know. Uh, I can compare, right? Yeah. Runic would go down, Defense would go up, Vitality would go up, and Vitality going up would be pretty good. I guess we'll craft it, you know what? That looks amazing. Yeah, let's equip it. Uh Yes, my young man? Yeah, you don't have anything new really. And back to you. Now upgrade the waist armor. Oh well actually we have to wear it. Oh, we can upgrade it like that. Oh, I need more of the Grizzly Trophy. So... Yeah, we already have. Be seeing ya. Okay, so let's... Um, your armor. This is the one that's missing. We want that one. There's something to bring Runic up again. Reduces damage from Dark Elves. I think I'll go with that. <sighs> but it seemed like the wrist was a uh, missing one. No. I think everything's good here. Yes, yes, come in. Maybe we could upgrade increase its arrow capacity. It's almost all my money. Well, I could upgrade this one. All right, so it's going to give me two Enchantment sockets, then, and upgrade the stats a bit. Fair enough. I think that's a keeper. I think that's the one. That's the one I usually use. I don't like how much they pull down the other stats. It's quite a bit. Pulling down luck all that way. Activates immediately after being hit to recover faster. Also has a thought. Well, that sounds good. 
And this. Oh, I'm never going to do that. Press left button and B to activate. I'm just not going to remember to do stuff like that. Now, what is this buy? What is this resource? A fairly sturdy hack silver? A thousand? To make what? Uh, I don't think I need to do that. I'll make one, though. It's just a thousand. Or let's say two. Travel safe, you two. Okay. Oh, and let's make sure, what is the skill, oh, there's this as well, I need higher vitality and runic for all that shit, just need stuff that I don't have, what about here, oh, we need a high level of defense for all of these. We're we're slowly getting close enough to those levels of uh, vitality and defense, and um, a whole RT to for more powerful raging smash attack with much. Okay, I can buy that one. In Spartan Rage. Oh, this is so cool, those moves. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, that is pretty cool. Okay, well, buy that. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Right. Uh, we wanted to check the map. Help Sindri find Fafnir's whetstone. That's the that's the one thing. We'll do that. You know what? We'll do this. We'll travel to Muspelheim. Um, okay, so if I, the whetstone, where's the, here, track, go to map, oh, it'll be the shining one, okay, so it's here, so again, we'll have to go under his mouth here, I don't know why we can't travel, fast travel to areas, but this is where we want to go. Do we want to follow that blue light? Lord knows what's going to happen now. Oh, so yeah, we have to go back up. Let's just bring this with us in case. Giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. Find a way across. Okay, so this is a puzzle again. Uh, looks like we probably have to get up there. Use that to slide down there. I probably have to um, shoot that. There is an opening. I can get it. There's a path to the exit on the other side. I don't know what he's doing up there now. I don't get that part. 
But I suppose if I just knock this down to him, he'll get there. Oh, and then there's this also. Yeah. No, I, I thought as much. So we probably have to knock this out. And then hitting this part will just make it freeze. For now, oh yeah, yeah, I get it. Before we even do more, I, I see what's going on. Is he on it? Yeah. Okay, and now I need to freeze it. There's a rope up here. <laughs> Okay, good stuff. Pick down the rope. Can we kick it down? Nah, it's 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 the right game for me right now. Especially being more focused on just the side quests. You're not gonna well, maybe there's something to do. Okay, I thought you were gonna. Okay, so now we jump down here now. It doesn't look like it. Should we? This. So there was no reason to freeze it up there. Maybe that comes later. Okay, now we have this thing again. Just punch these because I'm a little pissed. Here, no. <laughs> it makes the most pussy ass sound when I'm at the wrong place. This game really takes into use. Under his palm. We're almost there. Under his palm. Um, this game, one thing that you really notice about this game. Is that a rat? Is that it takes into use like every possible game mechanic. I think I was here before. That was the one uh, shield I knocked down, which I felt bad about doing. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? That you have come a long way. Thanks. Yeah, well, that's for sure. What happens if I... It, well, nothing really happens, right? I'll just be an aesthetic choice. I see something! Over there! You know? Just keeping it in the middle. The door, right? Well, we could check that door, but really the point is to get to the boat. Let's check the door. Uh, returned. Well, let's look at the map. When we come back here, yeah, when we, th that would be natural for us to look into there when we come back here. For now, it's the fight, realm tear encounter. Is that those black holes? Uh, it's on the way. Okay, so both of them are lighting now. All right, you can light both of those things. Over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going to do this now. Don't you understand? Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, so we're here. Apparently, we can only get to Brock's shop. Um, 
every other place is closed. But if we did that, we would miss the fight. Where's that fight thing? I think it was around here. Let's just check. Yeah, it, it is around there, so it would help to go there. To fast travel here. I think, uh, where would I, uh, go up? I think we'd be going up here. It looks like you can go up here and then cross the bridge. And I think the fight is around here somewhere where it says Council of Valkyries. So let's go here. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden vault is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. <gasps> oh, by the way... Oh there! Got another favor to ask you to. Another favor? What is this now? Um, let's talk about this. What do you want, Dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lonsuther Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or you just gonna stand there all gag scrapped and slack jawed? Pulled the ring off on Vari's hand at the Vellander Mines. Feller was always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night, see? Uh, that was pretty related to... Just the sound of his hammer flattening metal were enough to stoke my fires all over. Now, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's the entrance to the to the world tree. Let's just look have a quick look here now. I'm surprised that this is now available straight from here. I must have forgotten. Vanheim realm unavailable, but this is Muspelheim realm available. Why don't you tell me how all this began with Boulder? He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door. Yeah, he just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, "I know what you are." <laughs> oh. Well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was under the floor by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Mimius Tales. I might want to see that. Is it in the codex? Or would it be? I don't know how to find the thing that he just talked about. I'll hear about it again. Maybe it's this one. Figure out why Baldur of Asi came to our door. 
Wait, so the guy that attacked us at our home that was Baldur? Because he's like my favorite god, and he's a sweetheart. So... I mean, he's a jolly sweet man, you know? Can you shoot this? Oh, okay. I don't know how much of a story we're gonna get lost in by going here now. Maybe we shouldn't get too far lost into stuff. Let's open this. Okay, this is a uh, very different type of biome. You have anything to tell us here? You must like the heat, Brock. Heat's damned useful in my line of work. Even makes space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prodding from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up, you'll see. Getting around moose pulls or cinch. As long as you don't end up cooked. Alright, we'll have a look. Maybe we'll accept some quests. Wow. It's hot here. But... Is that snow? Ash. It only falls like that for great fires. Well, this is supposed to be the greatest fire of all. Isn't it? Muspelheim. The ancient realm of flame. Did your mother speak of it? Not a whole lot. I mean, there's not many stories that take place in fire. Except among the fire giants, I guess. But I don't think they talk to others much. And no one's seen one in forever. I wonder what Suratur's gauntlet is. What? It's what those runes said we could find here. Hmm. We shall look. I don't know. I feel like we shouldn't be here yet. Because we're just going to activate quests that we're not going to really get into yet. I just went this far because they started talking all, all the way. Can I walk back to Midgard? Or do I have to make the bridge cross? So these were the first two realms uh, created. Muspelheim and Niflheim. They were the first two created in uh, Norse mythology. Jotunheim we can get there from Midgard, from what I understand. Yeah, Niflheim wasn't that uh, the pla the first place we went, actually. Well, let's look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker, bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What could we have that Odin doesn't? He's like the king of gods. Well, the Aesir, aye. But his reach is not unlimited. And where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. Here. Oh, okay, that... Right, okay, so it was the correct one. Okay, so here's... This is Midgard, okay, so well, let's remember that. Pink, trees, nature. The natural world as we know it. What's got you all bum-fuzzled over there? Get going! Yeah, you're right, you know what? You are right.
Atreus, to me. Ooh, Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. What? Magical lock? What are you talking about? Did you just mention something new that's visible now that the snake moved? Um. Come here. Can you finish that story you started? I can indeed. Where were we? Oh, in the year the first giant had emerged from the void, and every form of life began to spring forth from Emir. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man, and beast came first from Emir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Emir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. Of Emir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own called himself all father as if he was the creator yeah uh the beginning of the creation of the universe uh in norse lore is very confusing emir is the first giant and things spring from his body not just other giants but wind trees sun maggots that turn into dwarves maybe then odin kills him but where did he come from so Emir came from fire and ice, and all lands and creatures came from his flesh, including the Asir, who then slew him to create order, in other words, to take control. The first giant was, and that's the right way to put it, I would say, the first giant was Odin's first victim. Uh, it's another way of telling uh, the creation, it's a much cleaner way of presenting the creation of the universe according to Norse, Norse lore, but it's, um, it's, uh, it's leaving a lot out, which might as you might as well do, because if you're going to listen to all the details, it's very confusing. And not the creator's destroyer, the small covetous tyrant. Amir? Hmm? Oh, sorry, my boy. Uh, you know, I think at best we just end it ah, there. Too bad. I'd like to hear the stories. But I bet he'll come back to it later. Um, so yeah, it's this thing. So let's save. Yeah, why not? Let's try this. God, it's gonna be hard, but... And I haven't even warmed up properly. Okay. okay. The weapon's not working. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, God. Just load. 
Okay, let's try that fight again. I shouldn't have had the axe out. Or, and also I activated the Berserker mode too early. But this is really a challenge. Street out of hell. Holy moly. I did it. I did it. Okay, so the trick was to just rely more on on punching rather than uh what's in here? That's to go in there. But what we wanted to do, search for the whetstone, which is, here's the bones. Okay, so we can get this bone on the way. You know what, we'll get both of these bones on the way. We'll just get those. And we'll just subtract those first. I could really do with health. But damn I'm glad that I let's just save on top of that one. Too bad I didn't get anything for it. Maybe there's stuff inside the the place. And this I still I think we'll need the witches for the magic for that. Okay. So the first side quest thing. Okay, I know I saw some. I saw two. Freya did say the Jotunheim realm tower was missing from the lake, but maybe only kinda. Very strange indeed. Okay, so we'll try to find these bones. Wow, it's like there was an entire city under the water. Aye, lad, a forgotten city. What was it called? No, uh, well, I forgot. <laughs> Fitting. Oh my God. The controller vibrates so much in this game. Oh, look at that. There's a whole underwater cave over there. See, now I try to find that stuff. You would think it's in resources. 
Realm tiers. I guess it's here, Dragon. You, okay, you use it to upgrade talismans. Yeah, that's probably all. It's a, it's a part of the crafting mechanic. <laughs> Wait, we came from there. We were. I think we were. We were going for this one over here. It should be easy. We just. Oh, um, oh no. Well, ah, uh, with such low life. I need to have this ready. I can fight them, but I tend to use more. Oh, wow, it heals me up. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah, I totally healed up. Okay, so I can do this then. Okay, hey there. Doesn't they don't usually attack? All right. A new treasure map. Okay. Well, that looks like an easy enough place to recognize. They usually aren't. I wish to make a contribution to Fafnir's collection of relics. I arrived to find the door locked and Reavers blocking the way. I came. I quickly buried my treasure and hid as fast as I could. If I manage to escape, I'll return to this spot. Hopefully I'll find it. Okay, I'm not gonna fight with you quite yet. Another piece of the language cipher. Good. Okay. We're getting closer to being able to read those things. <laughs> the controller shakes every time I, um, every time he takes a step. <laughs> yeah, I'm down to fight. You see? Okay, we got him a bit. We got him a bit. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought uh, he. Okay. I thought he was hurt. I just hurt behind this. Oh, I missed it. Jeez. Okay, got him. Okay, you can actually get him a bit when he's like that. Yes. Let's just have a quick look here. Huh. Where's the red stuff? Uh, rare enchantment increases resistance to poison. Okay. We're, we're almost healed up, so... And we checked out everything here. Oh, we didn't find the bone. Did we? Maybe that was the red thing that, uh... That was the red thing. No, it still says... 10 meters. Oh, and then when you get close enough to it... It disappears. Maybe it's, th yeah, it's this. Okay. 
What yeah. will you say to her? To Govi? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that. I... You don't understand. Neither do you. Let's see if this heals me up again. <laughs> yeah. What would you say to me? Nothing. Nothing? There is nothing left to say. What about everything we've done so far? That man coming to the house? Talking to the world serpent? We've done so many amazing things. I just want to tell her about them. Don't you? What else would you say to her? I tell her that we're both okay. Not to worry about us. Atreus, I... I miss her too. You know this. I thought I knew very little. You of luck. Yeah, I didn't see that in the menu. Okay, as usual, there's a lot to explore on the way. Another fight here. Revolve and terror encounter. And we're close to where we want to go to get to this thing. I don't know. Let's just have a look inside. There was two fights here. Forgotten caverns. Oh god. Can we go back if we wanted to? Tears braziers. A symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange rooms though? Now you mention it. Tough one. Yeah. Woo! We've seen these runes before, but it's the kind I still can't read. <sighs> Can I get to there from here? I, I should suppose so. Like yet another dock on the same piece of land. Huh? Okay. So we just need to find the other 
last part. Is it on this stock or is it further in? Okay. There's the spirit. Bothar. Fremont. It... Are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. The men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plagued these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. A thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor, but his judgment was swift and brutal. Mm, I, I didn't want to activate those actually, that was a mistake. I just wanted to see them. Uh, just three around there. The Hellwalker crew. I see. But what we want to do is to finish this mission here. going to be a bit harder to find. I should take a moment to look at the various maps again. I don't really feel like doing it right now though. Let's keep the momentum going. Are we gonna go higher afterward? Oh, we jump over, I see. Well, we can just. Okay, looks like some hacks over. Okay. Oh, I'm climbing up there. Oh, but there's stuff here. What? The final bone. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just. Never mind. Okay, that was the final. I thought the spirit was the completion of that side quest. Uh, yeah, this is where we were and where we fought. Okay, I didn't know it would take us back up here. That was a bit surprising. Just took us around. Okay, bring it on.
God, I'm not. I'm not dying for these idiots. Okay, you're asking for it, buddy. Should have just done that all along. Adequate. He did great. I wish I had done better. I discovered opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I gave up my search for Jotunheim long ago. Leave that for the younger, more hopeful men. But I was over eager. Did I miss stuff here? Oh, that was what I dropped down, right. Okay, let's just heal. Maybe... No, I can't. I don't know why. Alright. Oh, we're here, so we're not far away. And we healed, so that's all good. Let's save. Here. I wonder why there these bones are all over the place. Desecration, typically. Pieces of scattered corpse make for a pissed poor soul. No hope for Valhalla or Helheim when your arm's on one beach and your head's on another. Why not ask the spirit? I'm sure he will be forthcoming with answers. Should I turn around? Where is the spirit now? Are we following the spirit? Yeah, this is what we want to do. Just give that back. Oh, nice. Those treasures are usually really good. Okay, so we're just going to deliver the bones back. Oh, more stuff. I think we got it, yeah. Okay, spirit. Lots of side quests to be had here. out of them. Collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik, whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvik! She says she'll honor our request. 
El Tifagno. And reunite us? In thousands! Okay, you are right. I'm oh, I'm Look at you all! Your brother! Go get the boy! Disappears all the time. So. I told you so. You are naive, foolish boy. This is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. Hmm. <laughs> uh, even I was surprised. I didn't think that. I mean, we did all this work for the spirit, and then he just did that. Okay, so this is probably something later. Um, and now we want to go to. We want to do that one. Is the Muffelheim thing already the Realm of Fire? Okay, so we've done those things, but we haven't. Yeah, but we'll go back some other time. Now we're looking for the whetstone. So yeah, um, Odin was actually married to a goddess named uh, Frigg, not Freya. And there's a really interesting story about Freya, which they haven't brought up here. I see something down there. Which is that um, these four dwarves. Uh, brought forth this, uh, or were known to have this famous uh, necklace called the Briesinger, something along the lines of Briesinger. And, um, and Freya, the goddess of fertility and beauty, those are the two characters she's, she's most known for. You know, she's just sweet and she's like a goddess of nature and all that is pure and beautiful. So she really loved that. I mean, she was obsessed with this necklace and she really wanted it. Uh, so she went to visit the four dwarves who made it. But it was a steep price to pay to get the necklace. She had to spend a night with all four of them. You want a beach here? I think, yeah. I'll get back to the story later. I think that's a good uh, cliffhanger moment. Non soother minds. <laughs> Okay, I'll try to see if I can see it on the map. 
It's okay, yeah, we're looking for... Oh, yeah, we, we've been here before. That's why it's not new. Oh, but there's more hacks over. So this is a big one that we're going to encounter now. Okay, so now we're like more inland here. Right. And the stone... Just heal up. And get this on the map. Well, looky who decided to show. Yeah? Well, I just saw it on the map. Talk to this here ring. Uh, what? I can't hear thoughts from rings, Brock. It's talking to me! It's in Bari! Ha! Knew it! He says he went to the Vellander Mines to... observe his mistake. But then the Soul Eater attacked, so as he was being ripped apart... He cast a spell that removed his soul and put in this ring. And then he... What about all this stuff? Uh, huh? Andari had a workshop here with all sorts of posh doodads and ornatory tools. And one beaut of a hammer. You make mention of it still in there? Uh, you're upsetting him. Your point? You fellas take on Vari with you and go have a look-see. If you find his hammer, I'll whip up something real nice for you. Hey now, don't go forgetting your entry stone. Vari isn't happy about us taking his stuff. I do not care. I'm not gonna tell him that. get these guys. Quite a few of them. Watch your back. It's more fun to beat him up like this. Way more fun. Our enemies are strong. Were we strong? I'll read it in the editing. Trail, follow me. You're right there. Yeah, I don't 
don't know why I'm doing that. Um, oh, here's the... There's the stuff. And Vari says this dwarf was part of his crew. That he died because of his mistakes. He right sounds... This. Sad. The ring's grief is of little importance, boy. We're in a circle of it. So we have to... Oh, okay. Puzzles, obviously. Um... There's a thing to turn here. Okay. Can I climb up this thing? What about now? He's warning us not to go down there. Stop listening to the ring, boy. Do not be I think you did pretty good. I'm not sure what the red thing is. Is that to uh, fill up the berserk mode? Warning us not to go down here because uh, he thinks we can't handle it, I imagine. Can we go over here? equipment anything else no I don't think this fight is going to be any harder than what we've encountered before oh shoot them Jesus Christ silence that ring boy I cannot deal with... Oh, okay, that's a puzzle to do later. Yeah, we could do with a little more healing. Oh, nice. Ah, almost 3,000, that's not bad. And here we can go up. Okay, so there's quite a few options. Um, we just climb up here for a second. We don't need that yet. Here's another place to go through, and here's a, yet another. Okay, so we have to get all, we have to cut, uh, these are in the way. Cut through all of them at, in the same shot. Yeah, wasn't too hard. 
Again, this looks like that picture again. A soul leader. And a traveler. Guard up. Maybe we should come back here. Hold on. The soul eater is here. And this is where the sign tells us to go. Let's save that for last. Because I saw there were a few other things to do, and I'd just like to get all the regular things done before the main thing. And this we haven't been to here. I think that was the other one. So uh, yeah, we should probably start with the bottom one first. Ooh, boy. Too tight a space to really see anything. materials I don't think there was anything else now now we can just go here Charging up. Got him. You two make quite a formidable duo. Yes. A dead soul eater. What's a soul eater? What are you even doing here? What do you mean it's your fault? Boy, ignore him. It's sort of tough for me to ignore. This is uh, the rage meter, I think. Which we don't need. Um, oh. What? Look a bit. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a destroyed uh, giant. We're one of those stone uh, creatures. Whatever you call them. Three thousand. Okay.
We're getting good to narrow at this point. Um, here we go. So, this is the end there. He says this chest will trigger a bunch of traps. Maybe we should save here then. I see no traps. You sounded so sure about it. He's probably not kidding around. I believe him. But we're god killers, so we should be able to make do. the traps? Probably not. Those dark elves are pretty easy for me to fight now. This looks like something we need to shoot down, but maybe from up here. Tells us to go the other way, but that looks like it's a healing stone. I could save that. Okay. Navari says his workshop is up there. But I know, I know. Don't trust the talking room. Okay, now we can climb up there. So this is his workshop, huh? Here we go. Jeez. 
Epic Talisman. Create a small defense zone that prevents Kratos' attacks from being interrupted and reduces the amount of damage he takes. When upgraded, it restores a small amount of health as well. Wow. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it's definitely an elf sword. Bigger, faster, and stronger, yeah. Blind and, and deafness for a bit. Right. Wow. Yeah. No, I, I could definitely tell you it was tougher than usual. But the way that I've set my. Uh... Father, please, just listen. Inbari's crew did something bad here. He's glad you destroyed his life. And he's sorry he kept trying to trick us. His hammer is just through this gate. What's up there then? Doesn't seem to go anywhere. Oh, I guess this is just the way to climb in, huh? Oh yeah, to send him in, right. I guess this is the chest. Hmm. This is a fine hammer. Invari says thank you. Okay, so now we got that. Um, should we try to take on the Fafnir's whetstone as well? Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Okay, that's going in the journal. Interesting. Looks like we can break this. Uh, but I think it's safe to continue. Oh, we can roll this down and that will break it. That looks like a pretty obvious... Can we keep him? We will talk to the blue one. Those, uh, I almost remember what they're called, but it's what the yellow part of his uh, armor is made out of. Well, since uh, Brock is right here, I guess we'll just finish talking to him about this. And then we'll figure out the whetstone. Do 
who find that hammer, or you're too busy looting every keyhole and cranny. Here, the alchemist hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah, Anvari always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. You don't want it? Father, we can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. Fine. So long as he proves his worth. Epic enchantment. There. Kid's a bit of a softy, huh? Well, he'll grow out of it. Sounds pretty good. Good thing we got now. Maybe we should look at the um, symbol of cunning and si sturdy sigil of perseverance. Symbol of cunning. I think we could probably upgrade that with. And the very soul. Any successful runic attack kill. But I'm not. I'm not good with the, those things. Uh, that doesn't sound. No. No. This is the one we had. Uh, rare, right? Okay, so this is the. That's four. This is five. Uh, defense, vitality, 25% resistance to all status effects, including frost, burn, blaze, daze, and poison. This just gives three more defense. And it's in what? It's in his uh, chest uh, armor? And there's also scythe there. Now, you know what? I think we're going to go with that. Yeah, it's this chest armor. Let's uh, let's check out his um, his gauntlets. See a symbol of truth and fragmented heart of Valheim. However, yeah, go to sockets. Here we go. So this is a symbol of truth. Level two, both are rare, two and three. Um, that one's pretty good. Symbol of truth, let's look. That doesn't sound too bad. This uh, is pretty good too. When his health drops, I think, I think maybe this, yeah. I think that's good. And let's look here, well, this one we just recently Placed in, and I think we were really happy with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's brilliant. Uh, activate immediately after being hit to recover faster. Yeah, I just have to remember to do that. Why is there an exclamation mark on it? Oh, this is a new one. This is the one we have. It's the new one. Uh, and then you can put an enchantment in it. But this I have to activate by pressing both of those. I'm not going to remember to do that. I just know that. So... Yeah, and he has no... So I think that's... We're upgraded now. Um... 
wasn't very helpful at first, but something about seeing the dead soul eater in the land suit of minds made him realize he was being kind of a jerk. Um, I think he feels guilty because he and some other dwarves were experimenting with ancients there and they accidentally created soul eaters. Glad we didn't have to fight anymore. Anyway, his soul is still trapped in a ring. Brock wanted to melt him down. He can be so mean sometimes. But I convinced Father to keep him, and now he's part of the group. Father even uses Andvari's soul as an enchantment sometimes. Must be hard being trapped in a piece of jewelry. Uh, but Andvari doesn't complain too much. I've gotten pretty good at ignoring him. Yeah, I say just keep him as a ring, you know? It's kind of cool to have an extra companion in addition to Mimu's head. Um, okay. The other side quest to do, let's see what it is. This one. I know this is going to take a while, and so this will be it for today's episode. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching with me. And if you enjoyed this uh, content, uh, stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.